वेलकम बैक माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर द ओनली वे टू कास्ट अ गुड इंप्रेशन ऑन द पेपर चेकर सो दैट यू स्कोर गुड मार्क्स द ओनली वे इज टू हैव अ नीट एंड ब्यूटिफुल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द पेपर सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल लेट एस लर्न पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव सिलेक्टेड सम हैंड रिटन पेपर्स हेयर एंड वी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सर्टन गुड स्टाइल्स ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग your answers so let's get started so here is the first sample of paper presentation if you observe here we have done one sum from banking now the first point that i want you to observe here is all the steps are aligned all the equal to signs are aligned so please align your matter on the paper so that it appears neat and tidy second point that i want you to understand here is this is a formula based sum and if you observe here the formula is first mentioned and then in the next step substitution is done never do substitution directly in the first step itself the third point that you have to observe here is a lot of calculations are to be done to reach the final answer now this is board rule whenever you do calculations they have to be done besides the sum itself on the same paper so here we have drawn a margin and we have created a column for rough work so if you see in rough work all the calculations are intact all the calculations should be visible after doing the calculations do not erase or cancel them very very important next if you observe here my dear students the final answer is a monetary amount it is an amount in rupees and we have discussed a rule whenever the final answer is a monetary amount and if it is in fraction you have to give the final answer up to two decimal places so here in fraction form the final answer is 6811.2 but since it is monetary amount we have added a zero after two and so the final answer will be 6811.20 i hope you understand all these points so this is the second sample of paper presentation here we have solved a sum from linear inequations now there's one important point which i want you to understand my dear students often in the question on linear inequations they separately ask us to present the solution in the form of a set so at the end if you see here before the number line we have presented the solution in the form of a set this step is very important if it is asked in the question next remember that you have to draw the number line with a pencil not with a pen and another very important point here my dear students if you observe one end of the solution is minus 4.5 now normally on the number line we show only the integers that is minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on we never show minus 4.5 but since here it is one end of the solution so you have to separately indicate minus 4.5 on the number line as shown here another very important point which students miss out is my dear students remember on the number line you have to show arrows on both the ends if you don't show these arrows you're going to lose marks and the final important point here is the solution it is ending at minus 4.5 but beyond that end you have to show extra numbers on the number line so beyond minus 4.5 we have shown minus 5 and minus 6 on the left side and on the right side if you see the solution is ending at 1 so beyond 1 we have shown extra numbers 2 and 3 it is very important that you show these numbers so that you score full marks in this sample let us see important points related to presentation of a sum from geometry now my dear students in sums on geometry it is very important to write reasons for the properties that we are using now reasons can be written in two form you can write the reason in statement form or you can write it after the statement inside brackets so if you see the first property that is applied here is angle in a semicircle is a right angle and i have given a very simple reason for this property i have said ab is a diameter because when we have a diameter automatically we have an angle in a semicircle so this reason has been written in the form of a statement now if you see the next property that is applied here sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees the reason has been mentioned in inside the bracket after the statement next if you see we have applied the property opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary again the reason is mentioned inside bracket and there is one more property applied here angles in the same segment we are talking about 
two angles in the same segment which are equal. So we have given that reason. So reasons are very important in geometry. This is the presentation of a sum on probability. Now the first point that I want you to remember my dear students is whenever the list of total outcomes in a particular sum is short, you have to show the list. For example, here in this sum, we are talking about tossing of three coins. And you know, in case of tossing of three coins, the number of total outcomes is eight. It's a short list. So you are expected to write this list to score full marks. Further, definitely, you also have to write the list of favorable outcomes. That goes without saying. And the last important point here, the answers of probability are normally in fraction form. So remember, you have to reduce the fraction to the lowest form to score full marks. I hope you understand this. So students, finally, this is the presentation of construction of a regular hexagon and its circumscribing circle. Now in construction, the first point that I want you to remember is whenever you measure and draw any segment or any angle, then you have to show the measurement along with the segment. So for example, here they are asking us to draw a regular hexagon whose each side is four centimeter. So you are drawing each segment here with the measurement four centimeter. Hence on each segment, you have to label four centimeter. I hope you understand this. So if you see here on all the segments, we have labeled four centimeter. Further, we construct each angle of measure 120 degrees in a regular hexagon. So you have to show this label of 120 degrees on the four angles which you construct here. The fifth and the sixth angle are obtained automatically. We do not construct them with any measure. Hence, we have not labeled the fourth and the sixth angle. And finally, my dear students, often in construction, they ask us to measure and record the length of a segment or the measure of an angle. So in that case here, if you see, they are asking us to record the radius of the circumcircle. So remember, first and foremost, you have to draw this radius in your construction and then you have to find out its measure. Now here the measure turns out to be four centimeter. That is the accurate value of the radius of the circumcircle. But often you may not get this accurate value. You may get slightly lesser or slightly greater value. So remember a difference of 0.1 centimeter will fetch you full marks. So if the accurate value is 4 centimeter, then 3.9 centimeter or 4.1 centimeter is going to fetch you full marks. But any difference which is greater than 0.1 centimeter, you will lose marks.